What do you think about pupusas? Alright. Alright? Yeah. Did you eat two? Yeah. Nice. My job right this minute is waiting for Mike to give me another job. We just mixed five, a full set of cement and we've cut about six pieces of rebar. I'm wetting and cutting bricks and handing them to the bricklayer people. <laughs> Place. I'm gonna make it a safer place. I'm gonna help the human race.
a tragedy for me to turn away. All my needs you have supplied when I was dead. My most impacting moment was uh, kind of what I would call a, a culminating moment where uh, me and Rod and the boys and some of the slam guys were at Rosa's yesterday. As we look at Rosa, she's many things and she's a woman of God, and uh, but she's, she's, she's broken. She's been broken by life and by circumstance and uh, she's still she's still hopeful and she's full of of uh, love and it overflows into the people that are guests in her home just an amazing experience and to get to do that with the guys and, and build that bond and have that that shared experience to talk about when we go home is just very impacting on my heart I'll never forget Rosa Um, my favorite part of the week was when we went into Sitio and lived a day like an El Salvadorian woman. Like we wash clothes, which is a little, like back back breaking work, and they do it every single day. I'm just seeing the strength that they have, and they take care of all their children, and most of them without husbands. I feel like it's been a time where my heart's been softened. Like I realized when we went through Milagro de Dios and stuff that I had a really hard heart. It makes me want to see what, how I can help people around where I live as well. You know, sometimes it takes uh, getting out of the U.S. for an extended period of time to have a different perspective and so I enjoyed the people. That was my favorite time from Frankie who played goalie as maybe a six-year-old kid who just loved and, and held to uh, older Rosa who's just so loving. And the people here just have really touched my heart. I just want to say that um, this trip has been life-changing for me. Um, I feel like I have been broken and I feel chosen and very blessed to be able to be with this group. Probably my most impactful moment was when I realized that I was going home soon and there was like light at the end of the tunnel, but a lot of these people don't have that. They're stuck in their situation for they don't know how long. The most impactful moment of this trip was when we went to Rose's house. Um, just the love and the faith she showed was just amazing. On two separate occasions, I had a chance to talk to Mike D for a long time, probably two or three hours total, and just really got to talk to him, and he shared his heart with me about some of the things that I had a lot of questions about or what I was afraid of, or just questions about growing up and going into the world and questions about the Bible. I guess what most impacted me was on the last day that we were going to spend in Sitio Nuevo. 
uh, having to say goodbye to the kids and especially on hell and seeing I guess how much uh, we had an impact on his life in just a very short time we were able to be with him. My most impactful moment this week was when we ate breakfast one day. These people give their food to us and it could be their next meal that we're taking from them. Um, I think what impacted me most this week was the people and their really, really strong beliefs. I mean, they think God is good when they don't have very much and we struggle to think he's good when we have a ton. My favorite part of this week has been when we went to Sitio and we got to work on the construction site and we got to meet all these different people. I think what impacted me the most is when we went to Malagra. These people have to live there every day and work through the hardships. Okay, well, my most impactful moment would be actually on the way here to the lake. Um, just going back through places that we passed on the way to, or on the way here a week ago. I really realized how different I feel going back through. I feel this personal attachment. I feel like I'm leaving pieces of my heart here in El Salvador. Sure you are. So what's it like? Kind of gummy or very chewy. Kyle, you want the rest? See, I have fun biting the first. The first one's like it's crunchy. The first bite. The first. So I just go with the whole thing. You can do whatever you want. It's not awful. It's just odd. It's not as chewy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha.